Pop Pop got splinters. <laughs> Drawers. <laughs> Weeds. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That. We've lost it. And the Baptist ain't going to get it back. They never did have much up to start with. The Methodists didn't believe in it. No, how all that do was pee a little water on their fingers. They didn't baptize you. Sprinkle you. Well, if I want to get sprinkled, I'm going to go out in the rain. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said, uh, sprinkling ain't going to be a baptism. And, and real baptism ain't even all around no more. You know what real baptism represents? If, if, if you've been saved and God saved you, and you're baptized, it means it's like you uh, somebody dies when you when he uh, 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 dies, you put him in a casket and you put him down into the earth. Well, that's what like water baptism is like you die, and when you baptize, you go down in the water. Hallelujah. And all that old sin in you, all that old devil in you, all that old can't live for God in you, you, you drown that shit. You drown it. Sprank it don't do it. I said, Sprank it don't do it. But you turn down. Hallelujah. And when you bring them up, thank God, it's like somebody was drowned in. Of the old man, that means that old man of yours, that old body of yours, that old sinful life of yours, that thing that, that stuff you can't quit, you just bear it. Hallelujah. When you come up, hallelujah, you're a new preacher, you're born again, you're washed in the washing of the water of the word, you've been cleansed by the power of God, you've been delivered, hallelujah, and if you'll take up that cross right then, take up that life right then, and start calling Jesus your world. No bouquet on me. I've been out here 60 something years. Plus, spent four years in jail for a bunch of liars. You know? Because the government, they found that out and they gave me seven million dollars or seven, well up for a bunch of money if I wouldn't let that out. And that's what got me all the equipment. Got me out of here. But I didn't compromise. Hallelujah. I didn't compromise. I wasn't going to compromise. And I still ain't going to compromise. Hallelujah. Stay in the gate. Now the way that leads on the righteousness. And he told the truth. Few that be that find it. Few that be that find it. It's a few of us. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. 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 Hallelujah. What a Savior, what a Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. And as I started to say, I'm glad I don't dip snuff. Let me spit it everywhere. Don't you feel the Lord? This is first. Peter 2.14 Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to thank my third start a little higher. Submit yourselves to the ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king or supreme, or unto governors as unto them that are sent by and for the punishment of evildoers, for the praise of of them that do well. For so is the will of God that with well doing you ye may put to silence the I can't pronounce that word of foolish men as free and not using your liberty for a whole of you know of evil or doing what you want to. But as the servants of God honor Men love the brethren who fear God, honor the king, that means the leaders, 
Servants be subject to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the forward. For this is a thankful, thankworthy, thankful a man to consider toward God in dear grief, suffering, wrongful. What glory is it if when you be but, but for your faults you shall take it freely or liberty. But if when you do well, you suffer for it. You take it patiently. This is acceptable with God. Or here, here unto where you call. Because Christ suffered for us. Leaving us an example. That you should follow his step. Leaving us an example. Yes. Think about that. Jesus left us the way. That's what they. If you want to call it persecution, but they ain't stop me. They ain't gonna stop me. I've reached more people than hundreds of thousands have together. You know why? I'm not out here trying to build a name. I'm out here trying to get people to strive like I did. Little cripple boy that God healed to get in that straight game. Thank God. That's, oh yeah, I was with the grand girl for a little while. But God wanted me to get out there and see what was in the world. A little bit. This is an hour. This is a day that, that if you read the King James Bible, especially Matthew right on down, you'll see things that's, that, that's happening now that you never thought would happen. Amen. You know, when God made man, He didn't make man for, uh, for, uh, not to have nothing to do with one another. Back when God made man in them hot countries, me kind of man couldn't stand it. That's the reason most of the African people came from them hot countries. You know why? Growing up, because they didn't have no electricity that, and that's reason they could take it, but who we could. But we all the same. That's the reason when you they found out later on down, they used to wouldn't give one other blood, but they found out that if anybody needs the blood, our blood is the same in everybody's land. You know, if my blood is your blood, my blood, you need my blood, and I give you ain't gonna have a little white boy. And if I need your blood, I'm not going to have a little black boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. So I showed you right there that back then we didn't have our conditions. We'd all been one kind of people. But, and African people can stand hot weather. Man, I don't know hot weather. Makes me African look. I'd be black or nigger. They can get out there working at it. Don't even bother I'm just a sweat. <laughs> I'm going in under the shade. But we're all the same people. Yeah. Right, people. That's right, they can be different nationalities. But we all come from the same. In the beginning was the Word, the Word with God. It started off with one person, one person, one woman, one man. It started the whole thing. But over 6,000 years ago and this time. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. But we all, that we, we don't need to, to criticize or feel like somebody different. Not so we don't have nothing to do with it. We're all the same people. We just were born in them hot countries. And you bring them African people over in America in cold weather. They can't take it. Didn't have no heater, didn't have no air conditioning, didn't have no fan. Right. Right. That's that right? No hot weather, if you can't get no fan, the heater, air conditioning. You're in trouble. It's hot. <laughs> You're looking for some shade. <laughs> it's hot as you can't take it. <laughs> but we all started out in the beginning. With one man and one woman. Go back to the beginning of Genesis. One man and one woman. 
We all came from Him. Thank you, Jesus. That's why we don't need to get out here and down one another. That's something more devils tears out. How do you get us? Most all the people you uh, preach with them, but they, they didn't call them African. I call them African people myself. The black people said, don't you, don't you afraid? I said, you're going to catch some? I said, I done caught it. <laughs> and you look like the same blood. I said, I just went over in that hard country where I had to be black. I was over here where we had to be. But it's hard for, for African people to get in freezing weather. Right. Still is. Right. Back then, we didn't have all these air conditions and have all these uh, 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 Amen. things to make our rooms warm in the wintertime, cold in, in the summertime. You know, the air, the air condition be cold. And then you had the heaters. That would put out heat in the winter time when it's cold. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory. Yeah. Glory. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, that's where it is spiritually. It's time for us to realize God don't have no million churches. Hey, one way, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. The Bible said so. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God. 